Hello everyone! This is Hachiri, and we are back in FTB Interactions. Now, the last thing we did is we were getting things ready for a uh, the Quadria reactor set up, and we got that going right here. Um, I just have some logistics fluid suppliers keeping it to where there's only a bucket in at any point in time. Um, the setup isn't like too complex. I don't have a min bucket rate because I feel that there could be a partial in there. Um, because these are only doing, I believe... like 16 MB at a time. So we could end up with some off amounts. So I have partials, yes, and min mode, no. So that basically gets rid of the risk there. And uh, we have this basically filling up constantly. We still got about 700 or so the quadria ingots left. Uh, it's, it's down to 681 now. But I mean, we got like two drums full of it. So I think we're good as far as that is concerned. And that is all tied to our main system here. But you see, isn't really doing a whole lot right now. So what I was thinking that we would do today is, um, well, we got two things we could do. We could either A, convert all of our nitro to knack fuel using this, but I don't have a whole lot of enriched knack. I only have uh, 4,000 buckets of it. So we only have 8,000 buckets of knack fuel when it's said and done, which could be fine. It could be a problem. Don't quite know. But uh, one thing I've been wanting to do for a little while now is I kind of want to redo our ore processing system. And I want to get our ore multiplication put in. Now, over on this side, I had like this little isolated AE system set up. And the, the point of this system was to um, kind of test an isolated setup with uh, imports and exports coming from interfaces and just kind of seeing, you know, how would I make this work? Okay. Now, right now, I'm using the uh, molecular separator to deal with the uh, knack dust. There, we are working on getting more to quadria, and we got some enriched knack here. But uh, other than that, um, this also was dealing with like some sifting stuff. Now, it's just kind of getting an idea of how I would want to go about dealing with this. Um, and I still haven't made up my mind, but I think one thing I want to do for sure is I do want to redo the processing system and we're going to expand it because we have the power to expand it now. And we're going to get rid of this. Like, this stuff was all nice and fun and happy um, while it lasted. But um, the more I mess with this stuff, the more I add things, the more I deal with stuff, the more I realize this setup ain't going to work. Um, because it chokes up. It keeps getting choked up. And it keeps uh, just running into issues like that. Where the system can't keep up 
with what's going on. Which is why I was looking at this. So since we know that we need to kind of find a way to deal with uh, the storage of all the materials throughout the process, we know there's going to be partials. We know we're going to have all sorts of fun stuff like that. So what I'm thinking is we will end up setting up a system similar to this where I have like packagers that have ME interfaces on it that are programmed for their various things and these do have a robotic arm with limiting on it same thing on this one and this handles nine nine items okay well how we're actually going to handle this is I'm probably going to do um, exporters instead of the interfaces because I was just testing with a single probably not going to do interfaces we're probably going to do exporters we're going to have the limiting uh, set up we're going to have like some chests or something that will be able to handle that uh, we could even pull the modular storage out of retirement because like we got so many of these uh, things here and we have all of these modular storage things so we might as well use it and just have this pulling out of it but like the tiny dusts and the uh, small dusts that's that's my thought on that and then uh, the other stuff we will just have like an export array cuz I don't see us needing a whole lot of them but like We could easily have, let's say, five exporters a chest. Excuse me. And uh, with max caps um, and setting up a round robin system with an array of. Uh, pulverizers, centrifuges, etc. we can control what items go where. So we can send, like, say, the gem dusts to a sifting machine. Or we can send, you know, stuff to a pulverizer. You know, things like that. Um, so now that we have this kind of talked over, we know we need to expand quite a bit to make this work. The other thing is I want to get the ore multiplication in here. Which means I'm going to need to set up a um, color system to prevent cable contamination. Because we don't want this stuff going into our main ME system. We want it out. So, I guess all that's really left is to just get started. But uh, before we do that, let's hop on over here and kind of take a look at things. We know that's full. Uh, it's only got 3,000 buckets in here. And it looks like it stopped. And that's filled up, that's filled up. This has got 8,000 buckets. So we seem to be in a good spot. 
I'm just gonna come over here and take a look at this. I'm pretty sure that it's full of water. Yeah, I see the water in here now. Okay, all right. So we're in a good spot as far as uh, this goes. I can pull this out later and switch it to the next one. But I won't deal with that right now. Today, today is gonna be for ore multiplication so that we can get tungsten set up. Now, I already have this set up for NAC fuel. It is not quite done yet, but as you see, we, we do have that set up and ready to go. And if you take a look here, we got our essences set up there for ore multiplication. Now, once we get it set up, it will take time and we're gonna have to expand the ore multiplication as we go, and that's fine. So, now comes the real question. Where do we build the ore multiplication setup and how are we going to get it in there? I rip all of this out now I do have this system set up to where if this is over a certain point it actually stops these um, which was a nice setup I'm not gonna lie But I think in the end, what we're going to do is going to be much better. Now, the question is, is do we do HV or do we do EV? Now, EV, let's see. I have macerator, ore washer, macerator, centrifuge, packers, and electrolyzers. So if I was to do EV, we would go through with how I want to expand this because I want to do I want to do 16 of the macerators 16 of the washers and uh, Eight centrifuges. Yeah, that's what we do. That's what we do. And actually, we could probably get away with less than that, but I think that's going to be the best. So we will end up going through, let's see, if we did EV, 16, 16, so that's 8 amps of IV. We will probably go through with all of the machines. eight amps of IV because see 16 is four 
Yeah, it's eight. No, we'll do 12. We'll do almost 16 if we went EV. We'd actually do almost 16 amps if we went EV. That won't work. But we do have this. And I believe there is a signalum cable that can carry 32 amps. Um, yeah, you can go up to 64 amps. So we could do a 32 amp. With a single flux point. That might be the way for us to go. I mean, we can do EV. We got the EV machines. Um set up so that we can spit it out and I mean honestly how often is this gonna run but while it's processing like if we were to leave it on all the time we would need another set of knack reactors just to keep up with it um, And I think the only benefit we get is an increased chance of byproduct. But if we're 32xing the base ore, which is 64 times per ore, do we really care about the byproduct at that point? We're going to get so much of it, we probably won't even care at that point. Hey, Shift. So, I think for the sake of power management sticking to HV might be the best way it might be the best way in which case we will need to build some maps for some of these and we already have part of what we're looking for we just need to rip it all out we got all these batteries here so uh, we'll be able to uh, do quite a bit with it Now, my plan is to have like the chains going across like so. So it would be eight machine, eight machine, you know, maybe a stack of machines here and a stack of machines here. Um, I'm still like in serious thought on do I want to do this this way because another thing I can do to handle this problem that I'm just now thinking about and I didn't think about it until just now is uh, swapping the chests out with an ME chest One, two, three, four, five, six.
Hello, Threefold. Because if we swap this out with ME chest instead, we don't have to change our ore system. At all. And that would be a lot less work. And then we just have to manage whether it goes into base processing or if it goes to um, multiplication processing before hitting the core part of the system. That might be a better way of handling this. I mean, I still want to swap this out for a CEU with a flux point, but the more I think about this, The more I want to test it, and I think one of the best ways to test this would be, can uh, can a uh, logistical sorter pull out of an MHS? Now I know it's going to need to be connected to a network, and that's fine. But if it if a logistical sorter can pull out of an ME chest, let's see, you have nothing in you right now. Um, I will connect you. Guess right here for now. That way you have power. Great, right. everyone's happy. Uh, except for this. This is not happy. This does not like. Alright, so you have some RF in you. I can access the top. We have the disk drive little thing there. Cool. Now, if I take a logistical sorter. And... Take this. Let's grab ourselves a chest and something to practice with. Um, emerald. So I want to keep one on me and we'll put the rest in there. Now I can't see the emerald in here, but it's actually only in this drive. Got one item in there. There we go. So what I'm curious on is if I attach this like so, and I place it here, and I have a chest there. So we're pretending that uh, I'm pulling out of this system with a logistical sorter. We're we're gonna we're gonna do our experimentation in real time. We'll call this one dark blue because why not? And uh, we're going to delete this. I didn't realize there was a new filter in there. Dark blue, save. Okay, so it is not pulling out of this inventory. That is unfortunate. So that will not work. That's what I was hopeful for. It is not a thing. Unless...
Because I know I can, like, face these any way I want. Yeah, that's not pulling out. So that ain't gonna work. So we are gonna have to have some sort of um, a uh, completely different export system. Which is fine, that's what this is all about. This is all about the experimentation, the learning, the growing. And we have learned that we cannot export out of those like you could a normal chest. So then, I guess we really do just need to rip this all out and build the export arrays and go through and just systematically program the ores and such for it. I mean, we're going to have a lot of byproducts. But I can't think of another way. I really can't. I mean, I did have this in there, so I could just set it up to where instead of having it run constantly, it just does whatever I put in manually. But my plan was actually to just have the ore system shove everything in here automatically into the uh, secondary ME system. That was my plan. So, so I think we're still back down to uh, building the extra things and getting the stuff done. Um, now, taking a look. There's a lot of crushed doors. Um, but they also have purified in here. So what we could do crushed. So this will give us an idea roughly because we we won't need all of these, but this gives us just a rough idea here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, thirteen exporters, possibly. So each setup will technically need three chests just to export from. Or 13 interfaces. Uh, 
I'm actually really starting to wonder if this is going to be worthwhile. Um, all right, so... I mean, this will make it to where it's hands off and we can run it indefinitely, but... Uh, I'm not dealing with the chest thing. What I'm dealing with is building a secondary ME system that will store all of this. So how would I export it from the ME system without having an exporter? And exporter maxes out at nine items. Same with the interface. It maxes out at po nine possible items. The great thing with the interface, though, is that, like, I don't have to have chests and whatnot, and I can have a single set of cables. And I would only need, let's see, one, two, three, possibly four sets. for the interface. The fact that I can't just pull out of an interface is just kind of sad that uh, I have to specify what item I can't just pull it out. That's what's kind of making me twitch. Because if I was able to pull it from a, a, a ME chest, that would have saved the problem. Still, I can just add the or multiplication to our existing system it does have a stopper for overflow it does actually have an overflow stopper built in So I could just add the more or multiplication and not deal with it and just deal with this manually by selecting whatever or and have a interface here or not interface but a, a exporter there and an exporter here that also has a different thing here and then I can just send it to either side depending. And just leave it clean like that. The completed items are going to go to the main ME system. So, um, but looking at this overall. I really am leaning towards just, uh. Just changing uh, this to, like, I'm leaning towards simplifying instead of uh, worrying about um, having it fully automatic. Because I have such a tight space here. I'm wondering if I'm overcomplicating by adding the ME system to store all of the byproducts and stuff as I go. Because it would make it to where it's always running and it never backs up and I always get all of the secondary byproducts. But it really complicates it. Because I would need three chests. 
for exporting various items. In which case, you know, like you were saying, the memory chest would be fine for that. But... I mean, heck, I could even use, like, draconic chests that I got laying around. That's not the real issue. The real issue is, uh... Do I want to do the ME system and have the ME system control everything so that uh, I get all byproducts? Which in the end really is my goal. I want all byproducts. instead of letting it fill up and losing byproducts because if this if the system backs up you actually lose the secondary product it will just give you the base and will not uh, give you the secondary so you actually do lose secondary products when a system like this backs up yeah i'm just gonna do it we're we're just gonna yellow it. I mean, we're gonna have to deal with the channels, and that's fine. I will uh, I will build things as needed. Let me see how many controllers do I have. I'm sure I have enough controllers. Yeah, I got I got 36 controllers, so I can make a small miniature cube if needed. And we can make some P2Ps and do what we need to. Or I can just for this episode I can just do the or multiplication part of it and just plug it in. And then I can come back and rip all this out later. I'll get the stuff started, but I can rip all this out later because this is going to be like probably a multi-day job the more I think about it. So, um, now what kind of stuff do I have here? I, I know I'm going to need a plasma arc furnace, which I got right there. I believe I'm going to need a chemical reactor. A chemical bath let's take a look at the whole process so this is a chemical bath of starlight to make the dense ore then it goes into a chemical reactor then it goes to the arc furnace then it goes to the autoclave with UU matter And then we throw it into our thaumatorium, the 32 exit. The ME subsystem is for buffering, but also to keep it completely separate from the general inventory. It's for both. Hello, Ryan. So, yes, shift. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> it is for both. Um, let's see, what do I have in here? I do have this recipe in there so I can make one. No, I cannot make one. I don't have a still ring recipe?
I'm actually surprised I don't have the steel ring recipe. <sighs> yeah, I think since this one is also recording, I may come back after sorting through what I'm going to do with the uh, ME system part of it. Uh, rubber stuff. So, oh, guess I don't. Do you know? Now, another thing I wanted to test. And I don't know if it's going to work. But we have these Essentia infusion providers. And what I'm curious on <laughs> is that if the Thaumatorium can pull out of these. We're going to find out. So I have two coalescence core. I need, oh, it takes exactly two coalescence cores. Alrighty then. I need two salus. Right, interface. Yeah, I totally planned ahead for that. <laughs> what all do I have in here? Urba, Epico, Examinus, Permietto, Precanto, and Machina. All right, so I'll have to hope that I actually have them at the uh, thomic area. Well, I got Percanto there. How many do I need? 25, and I have 27. So that's good. What are you? You're about what I need. None of these ones are what I want. All right, there's the swirly thing. We're going to use our scientific terms here. Now I need a, a machina. Ah, 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 right here. All right, so we're just going to kind of plop these down somewhere what could possibly go wrong where's my gauntlet there it is. All right, so this should work.
All right. So my hope, my hope is that I can use this to fuel the thaumatoriums. We'll find out. We will find out if I can. No, my luck, I cannot. But we're gonna try. That's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Um, I'm gonna want this. And I'm gonna want a chemical bath. We're gonna try to make that. I already have the plasma arc furnace thing over there. And I think I need like some mnemonic matrix thing. Wonder if I can make that here. I clicked away and I already lost it. Cause JEI moved. Story of my life. I have all but the plates. I know we're going to need more than one, obviously. But this is more for the learning experience, because I really don't know what I'm doing on this. <laughs> this is a part of Thumbcraft that I actually never delved into. And I know I'm going to need two of these. So I'm missing the valve thingies. Am I out of levers? Stick. Really? That's right, you can't make sticks that way in this pack. Why would I think that I can make sticks like a normal human being? So I'm not even gonna put it in there. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even gonna waste my time putting in that lane. We're gonna put it in here. Like, it doesn't recognize wood. I have two different recipes in here because this thing doesn't recognize what wood is. Which is both sad and humorous at the same time. Do I have cobble? Oh look, I have cobble. We can make a lever, and then we can uh, go and deal with that. So there you go. There's that. What else do you need? You're going to need eight iron plates. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to build just the most basic setup of this because I have a lot of like shelite and tungsten and stuff that I need to get processed. So we're just going to build a setup and we're only going to add tungsten to it initially. And then we'll expand it as we go. But... Um, And I'm 
gonna need a cauldron. So, well, hell, that doesn't happen every day. Is it this or is it the hammer? It's probably the hammer. All right. I need a bit of salus. So I'm gonna need two. And I'm gonna need a thing of niter. Did I ever put the chemical bath thing in here? Nope. So there's my reactor. Here's my bath. I have the arc furnace over there. I believe I set up the pyro chicken. Let's find out. It says I only have 3K pyro. How is that possible, guys? You're not dealing with the deuterium. That's how it's possible. All right. Um, for now, we will fluid trash can that stuff. All right. We may need that deuterium later. I'm not worried about it right now. I am also going to need to set up a fluid trash can to deal with this. So, yeah. Fun times ahead for us all. I think the other thing I'm going to want is CEF. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that and fix. Can I craft one of you? I can. So we will craft you as well. This is exciting, guys. We're going to actually have ore multiplication, finally. But yeah, just expect that all of this will go away. Um, probably off camera or on stream. It won't be in the recording. But uh, all of this will go away and be replaced. I may stream it. It's going to take hours to do, but I'll probably stream it.
what I'll do is I'm probably gonna want enough room for like a cluster of thaumatoriums here. So I set this like so. And I plan for the thingy to come out of there. See, smart cable. think that will work now fortunately through this whole process I'm only gonna need a handful of channels so Let's uh, go down here and take a look at where we have what. All right, so this is a 8x coming all the way from this main system. So we've got 10 channels used here. So I will probably want to rip most of it out and replace it with the 32. Oh, I can vein mine it. I think I dropped the thing over here too, didn't I? Oh, do I have an importer? I do. Where are you? You know that moment where it's like you realized you probably did a mistake, but uh, you can't find where anything is, so it doesn't really matter? Yeah. All right. It was mixed into this. Okay, cool. Coolio, and then we'll just run this all the way down. Oh. Or I can simplify this and just build a P2P and bind it here.
because that makes sense. Those big brain Hachi moments. <clears throat> Actually, before I even do that, do I have a uh... Dense ME conduit? That's an ME conduit. Do I have a dense ME conduit? I can't do that, it looks like. Alright, I guess not. I did this wrong. Wasted a salus. All right, we're just gonna pull another salus out. Good thing they're cheap. Now, I think how these mnemonic things work is like I can just plug it in like there and then I have more recipes looks like that's how it works so so we have this here we're gonna have a chain of stuff here that's going to insert right there it's gonna be spitting out here so we're gonna need something to catch it um, Probably this beautiful diamond chest right here. Like so. And um, we're going to have an essence thing right here. So let's, um, 
Let's see. I believe it is the emptying essentia is what I need. Actually, instead of assuming, I can just look at the one I have set up in here and find out. Now what we're gonna do is if this doesn't work, it is an emptying. If this doesn't work, then we're going to set up some export uh, buses on this. But uh, I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping. Do I have all the stuff? I have one of the things. All right, so let's make two of you. And then the hopper. Do I have a clump on for testing purposes? I do have a clump. For scientific testing purposes. Because this is for science. All right, so we got that set there. Yes! Yes! It works! Beautiful. Beautiful native iron crops. Right here. Right here. Alright guys, we can actually build the rest of the system. Now that we know that this works... Um, initially, I'm going to set it up for tungsten, just because we need a lot of tungsten, but, uh, yeah, this is going to work. We're going to have three of these set up, and this is actually going to work. This is kind of crazy. Oh, I can't believe this is actually going to work. Okay. All right. I might actually move this closer, though, to make some room for one to go right here. Well, then, let's get the rest of the system going. So we have this. We have our chemical bath. Um, oh, you know what? We're going to need a uh, fluid liquid liquidifier thing. And we're going to need a mixer. All right, so fluid extractor. Make sure I don't have one in here. Okay. It's always using the processing assemblies. I mean, it should allow substitutions. It should be fine. But I've had issues where it, it didn't do that. It's 
So we'll need that. Mixer. We'll need this. Because I keep forgetting about the UU matter thing. I do have you and Meta right here, though, that we do got to go through. get those meanwhile waste not after all I fluids idle in there no none in there cool I'm on fire All right, let's take a look and see what the step of the process is again, because honestly, I don't remember. So dense ores to be created. I'll start with this. Be created needs to go into chemical bath. So chemical bath is first. Reactor is second. Arc furnace is third. Autoclave is last. Autoclave. Need an autoclave. I have an EV autoclave in here. Alright, so I have the CEF here. Which converts FE to GTU. Hmm. 
We will get ourselves a stack of the 16x cable here. And uh, I think we'll be using big item filters, but uh, autoclave goes here, and then mixer goes there, give a little space. So this is the arc. With a fluid extractor right there. This is the chemical reactor, doesn't need anything special. This is the chemical bath, also does not need anything special. because these two will be handled wirelessly. Mixer, auto, auto play, mixer, uh, fluid. This looks right, I think. Dense, shard, yeah, okay. All right, flamey flame stuff right there. And, uh, This is going to need a wrench. Because this chain doesn't have anything coming out of it. It will actually start coming out over here, probably. And uh, do do. Yeah. All right. Cool.
So grab some, that's fluid exporters. We want this one. Pyro. Export the fluid into there. Fluid trash can. This one will export fluids into the trash can. there okay I will want a handful of those capacity cards just in case All right, so this needs to be blood and mana, I believe. And then we need one for starlight. And we may need to bump up our starlight system, and that's fine. We already got plans to do that. Put it right there. Life Essence. And that sorts through those. I'm going to need one of these right here. I'm going to need a fluid exporter. correct this looks good this will be settled shortly this is the one that I need a cap card on Can I? No, I cannot. I'm going to have to crab buckets of it. That's fine.
I do want to get a tank of this in there anyway. And we got both of these here. The sort. And I'm probably going to want some acceleration cards in here on this one. And on this one. actually on this one I think about it Ignore that for now. to stop messaging me. Conduits. I'm gonna get rid of some of this because I don't need all of that there. Actually, yes. Okay. 
So export from there, export from there. And we will import. So I may move that, but for now, that's where it's going to go. All right, so we got to hook this up to the system down on the bottom now. That is not where we need to go. All right. And um, I guess it's just going to be as easy as uh, just plugging these in. So this is doing that. This is mixing matter in there. And do I have the acceleration cards? I do. All right, so it is slowly building it up and filling this and doing its thing. So we're going to put a cap card in here. We're actually going to do two. We're going to do two on each one. So uh, I don't have uh, another cap card on me, do I? That's fine. Tongue. And she liked. And actually, I'm going to turn this end off first. Because I want it to build up a little bit. And as you see, it is doing that. And we turn this on. And it is turning it into shards, which is getting sent to the plasma arc furnace, which is getting sent to the autoclave. Which is getting clumped. Which is going into here. So now we just need to do a run to fit it into this. Excellent. So back into our hole we go. We'll go brown. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure brown is not used. And 
do I have acceleration or speed upgrades? Because this is going to go fast enough. I do. So with that, it should be funneling it into here. Which then proceeds to do the entire process. All right. This looks like we're in good shape. And I should be able to just completely leave this system alone. And over time, it will process all of our tungsten in a nice neat manner because all of the tungsten is getting electrolyzed here okay and then we actually set up a dedicated EBF for it so one of these should light up here in a minute. Pretty sure it's one of those. It's none of those, none of those. Did I set it up? Wait, I think I just saw that light up for a second here in the corner. That might be the one that we have for the tungsten. We'll just uh, take a look. No? Oh, wait. Wrong tier. Yes, that is the tungsten one. Okay, cool. Cool. So it is working. Excellent. So this should, with that in place, I mean, I had like. Oh gosh, I don't know. Like two, three K there. I have like almost a thousand there. So if we multiply that by 64, you know, we'll, we'll have several hundred thousand tungsten when this is all done. I'm satisfied with that. I think, I think I'm okay with this. I mean, it will take a really long time, but I'm okay with this. So we got our 32X or 64X, depending on your point of view, or processing setup. We still need to redo this so that it's streamlined and speedier, but uh, we got this part done. Now, this I'm not too worried about because this right here, because it's an infinite setup, when one caps, the other one uh, will eventually start filling up. So it will stop once in a while. But uh, eventually, it's going to do stuff and 
this is going to start filling them. Now, right now, it's doing... It's doing Urba for some reason. But it's whatever. It'll fill up eventually. So this is definitely a system that you just kind of set and walk away. <laughs> so that's exactly what we're going to do. All right. What else should we do? Uh I think I'll stop that here actually. We'll stop that right here. We'll let this do its thing. And uh, when we come back, we will go ahead and do um, the knack feel next, I think. I think knack feel is what I'm going to do next. That, that just seems like the next logical course of action for us. We're not really burning any uh, RF on this either. That's actually really nice. So, yeah. So with that, we will end this recording, and you guys have a wonderful day.